What's up? I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I'm at the Antique Wireless Association's Communication Technologies Museum here in Bloomfield, New York. It's the AWA's annual AM CUSO party. So let's get on the air and make some contacts using ancient modulation. Hi, good evening everybody. Uh, my name is Ed Gable, I'm K2MP, and tonight I'm W2 Alpha November. Because uh, tonight we're at the Antique Wireless uh, Museum and we're participating in an annual QSO party is called. It's not really a contest. Some people take it pretty seriously. A lot of us have just a lot of fun. And the uh, interesting thing about this QSO party is the mode of operation. And it's AM. No sideband, no CW, no FT8. It's all uh, AM. Some people like to call it ancient modulation. Uh, but if you want to talk to us tonight, uh, you better have a carrier on your signal. Uh, so the, the contest is uh, annual. It's sponsored by the AWA and the museum uh, every year about this time. It operates uh, from 4 o'clock local time in the afternoon on Saturday, and it runs until 8 o'clock tomorrow night, again local time. Uh, the bands are 160, 80, 40, 20, and 10 meters. And... Uh, well, it's, it's a pretty interesting and pretty active contest. Ah, I did it. <laughs> uh, not a contest, but a party, QSO party. You just get on and operate as many other people operating AM as you can. And it forces people, we, we've heard a lot of people already tonight who have turned their transmitter to AM mode for either the first time ever or certainly the first time this year. And they're surprised that with pretty low power, 20 watt carrier, something like that, we can hear them just fine. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to, uh, keep watching the AWA uh, website or whatever. It's the QS, QSO party is always advertised ahead of time. And throw your switch to AM and see what happens. You might be surprised. Please join us, it's a lot of fun. November 4, Montreal, Quebec. November 4, Mike Queen from uh, uh, Whiskey 2 Alpha November. Hey, thanks for the call. Name is Ed, uh, over here at uh, uh, Bloomfield. Got a nice, uh, nice, nice clean signal. So, what's going on tonight? What's the name in QTH? Uh, over. Okay, N4MQ. The name is Woody, Whiskey, Oscar, Oscar, Delta, Yankee, Woody. Gainesville, Virginia. Gainesville, Virginia. Over. Okay, Woody, uh, very good. You're uh, uh, running about 10 over 9 uh, carrier. Uh, super, uh, very good uh, modulation here tonight. So, thanks for uh, checking in. I'm not a heavy uh, AM user myself, so there's going to be a lot of real active AMers calling in here, and unfortunately I don't recognize a lot of you, but boy, we sure appreciate your uh, coming on here tonight. W1BNC, Mike, near Worcester, Massachusetts. Go ahead. Hi, Mike. W1BNC from W2AN. Great, uh, great signal. And I think the strongest we've heard tonight. So that'll make you feel good, and the others calling, not so good. Uh, but anyway, it's very, very nice signal. Uh, I think uh, you probably copy running the KW1 here, and uh, one of our favorite uh, transmitters. We uh, pulled it out of an old uh, U.S. Navy Mars station and uh, did a lot of cleaning and painting and uh, making it uh, play again. And we're very happy to have that uh, have this transmitter at the uh, museum. Is it a bad relay, Lynn? It could be anything. <laughs> so that, that's the culprit? Well, that, that protected, I don't know. Hopefully that's, that's the culprit. That's an indication there is a culprit. Yeah. <laughs> did, we, did we let them warm up enough? You have no load uh, yeah, on it yeah. yet? Oh, no load. I'm not going to change that. Where's the load? Probably. Just 
the microphone? Uh, no. Oh, yes. Two bark, I don't know. Whiskey Delta Two, America, uh, Fox, Japan, QSL. QSL, say good evening. Good evening, Ms. Rose, Romeo Alpha. Look at it down close, Hillsburg. Now copy. Roger, Roger. Very good signal. Very good signal. Name here is Mike. Mike India Kilo Echo, and uh, we are operating a Collins uh, KW1 with uh, about 300 watts. We got great copy on you, QSL. CQ, 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 this is Whiskey 2 Alpha November for the AWA AM QSO party, QRZ. Which one of these knobs turns the bands back on? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. The tuner over there. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Whiskey 2 Alpha November for the AWA AM QSO party calling CQ 40 meters AM QRZ. So it's all this. Where did they go? Just like that. Pizza propagation. Pizza <laughs> propagation. Kilo four, Romeo Tango, K4 Arctic. Kilo four, Romeo Tango from Whiskey Two, Alpha November. We got you. Uh, name here is Mike. Mike India Kilo Echo in Bloomfield, New York, operating a Collins KW1 a transmitter with about 350 watts going out. QSL. Okay, very good, Mike. Yeah, nice signal here near Fort Belvoir, Virginia. My name is Brad, and I'm running 100 watts with a 250 X100 Z Baker, 100 Z transmitter, and uh, national HRO 50 receiver. The antenna is membered at D at 60 feet. Over. QSL, Kilo Bravo 2 Tango Delta Tango. This is Whiskey 2 Alpha November. Name here is Mike, Mike India Kilo Echo. And we're running about 350 watts on a Collins KW1 transmitter, QSL. QSL, name is Gary Golf Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee, located in Hanford, New York, near Buffalo. And I don't have an MP3 video here. I don't have an Roger that, roger that. Nothing wrong with that. I, I do AM on my own ICOM 7300 uh, occasionally, and, and it's working just fine for you. Um, and you said you were in Hamburg, New York, correct, Gary? Yes, that is correct. Hamburg, New York, right down on Shore Lake Erie, just southwest of the city of Buffalo. Roger that. Well, your, your signal's making the trip all the way out here to uh, Bloomfield, New York, south of uh, Rochester. Thanks for uh, participating in the AWA QSO party. And uh, and I'll say 7-3 from Whiskey 2 Alpha November. Okay, thanks for the contact. Just, um, I, I don't use AM too often. I know it's wide band. Uh, exactly what frequency are you transmitting at? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 290. 290? Yeah. Ish. Uh, I believe we're on uh, 7290 ish. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't We're sure. Yeah, I know uh, AM's wide, but it's very wide. Yep. All right, yeah, I'm on 7292. Okay. Roger that, roger that. Well, you're sounding just fine. Thanks again for the contact. Hope you have a great evening, and hey, maybe we'll work you on some other bands again. Yeah, we'll be changing the 75. We're going to be just a few changing minutes. the 75 meters in a few minutes, so uh, maybe we'll work you on 80. This is Whiskey 2 Alpha November, and we are going to QSY to 80 meters. Look for us, listen for us on 3885 or nearby. 73 from Whiskey 2 Alpha November. Thanks for all the contacts, and we are going to QSY. Frequency is now clear.
Nicely done. Yeah, well done. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Yep. You had five cues. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, very good. I think I copied Southeast Pennsylvania, but I didn't hear the city and I didn't catch your name. Uh, go ahead. Okay, Joe, very good. Uh, name here is Joe also, and uh, operating the, uh, like I said, the Mill and Memorial Station, 300 watts into a fan dipole, and uh, um, find on the ICOM 7600 there. Um, got about an S9 signal here. All right, that was a lot of fun. It was great to be able to operate the uh, Collins KW1. Um, not only is it an older radio, it's it's a it's a relatively rare one. The uh, serial number was 35, and there are only a little over 100 made, I guess, from what I'm told. So uh, very cool to uh, be able to operate it, uh, let alone at 350 or so watts. Um, usually, I'm doing just like 25 watts or so from my ICOM 7300 when I do AM. But this was a really great time. It's always fun coming down here to the AWA, uh, being able to see some of the uh, vintage radios and, and for the first time being able to uh, operate. It was a lot of fun in the uh, QSO party and uh, looking forward to uh, doing some more AM down the road. But wait, there's more. It's Future Mike here. I came out the next morning to the Erie Canalway National Heritage Corridor, that's Poda Park US 6532, for some AM. I started off on 40, but I wanted to give 20 and 10 meters a try for the very first time on AM. Let's see how it went. Kilo Bravo 2, Tango Delta Tango, November 3, X-Ray Lima, Sierra. N2MAK from K1VYU, Kilo 1, Victor, Yankee United. November 4, Montreal, Quebec. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air on AM QRZ. Yes, that was awesome. I just got my uh, first contact on 10 meter AM. It was down to Texas. So thanks so much, Sean. I appreciate it. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air on AM QRZ. Kilo Delta 9, Radio Delta Oscar. Kilo 9, Bravo, Bravo, Quebec. November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo, Whiskey 1, IZZ, Larry in Massachusetts in the town of Falmouth on Cape Cod. Uh, back to you. November 4, Bravo, Juliet Hotel. All right, that was a lot of fun. I uh, made my first AM contacts for POTA on 10 meters and 20 meters. I've done 40 meters a few times before, and that's usually for a late shift. I did start out on 40 meters. I got eight on the log, but then I jumped to uh, 10 meters. I got one uh, down to Texas, and then I did 20 meters, and I got six more there. So 15 in the log on AM, 40 meters, 10 meters, and 20 meters. That was a lot of fun, uh, something different, and uh, you know, I figured if there's a weekend to do it, this would be it with the AWA's AM QSO party. If you haven't yet, definitely, you know, give AM a chance. It's 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 fun, and most radios will do it. It's just a matter of pushing the button. So um, with that, thanks for uh, watching and tuning in. I'm Mike, N2MAK, 7-3.